hello good morning students welcome to my channel today in this class we are going to do all the exercises of chapter mangalyan india's pride and joy so let's start with reading comprehension given on page number 60 Add dates to the timeline of events below. One has been done for you. You have to write down the exact date from the chapter for these events. Now, first one is already done for you in the book. That is Mangalyan Mission approved by the government on August two thousand twelve. This is already done. Now, next one. Spacecraft was assembled. on march 2013 then next one mangalyaan entered the atmosphere of mars on 24th september 2014 mangalyaan completed 3 years in orbit around mars september 2017 mangalyaan launched from shri harikota andhra pradesh on november 2013 Then ISRO posted Mangalyaan's pictures of Mars on social media on March two thousand fifteen. So in this way, you will write down these dates in the space provided. Next is exercise D. Think and answer. Given on page number sixty one. Question is: Do you think that Indian space adventures will conquer greater horizons in the future? Give reasons for your answer. Now the answer is: I certainly feel Indian space adventures will conquer greater horizons in the future. The successful launch and progress of the Mangalyaan has made Indians more confident in. venturing into the field of space research and discovery more students will take up this course of study and with the advancements in science and technology there is scope for indian scientists and astronauts to conquer greater horizons next exercise is vocabulary given on page number 62 Find the synonyms of these words in the word grid given. Synonyms means the word which has same meaning. You will find them placed horizontally, vertically, from left to right, or from right to left in the word grid. So let's do it here. You can see, first one is excitement, and excitement you will find this word enthusiasm is synonym. First line. vertically and then next is amazing amazing is there on the last grid this is fascinating and then next is critical critical is on the top first line horizontally that is crucial and then agonizing agonizing you will find on second last line horizontally harrowing and then next is achievement achievement you will find out on One, two, three, fourth line from downside horizontally. That is triumph, and then progress. Progress is in last line horizontally. Advance. Advance is from right to left, and then indicator. Indicator synonym is symbol. This is on fourth line vertically, and then historic. Historic is memorable on fourth line from the top. This is. horizontally so in this way you can see from the picture and circle these synonyms of the words given next exercise is exercise b given on page number 62 fill in the blanks with the words you found in the word grid to recall man's first journey to the moon here few fill ups are there in this paragraph you have to fill those blanks with the help of the words you have circled in the grid let's do it first one what a memorable day it was for the world when in july 1969 neil armstrong and edwin aldrin and michael collin set foot on the moon they explored the surface of the moon with great enthusiasm collecting samples and taking photographs scientists the world over tracked the symbol Here you will fill symbol of the spacecraft Apollo 11. What a fascination it was 
fascination you will feel here for the human race with more than half of a billion people watching the event on television Neil Armstrong set foot on the moon and proclaimed that's one small step for man one giant leap for mankind the success of apollo 11 was a triumph of the advance progress made by man in the field of science and technology it was an incredible feat which had brought the heroine struggle harrowing you will fill in the last blank to reach the moon to a happy end and a more hopeful beginning for all aspiring astronauts so students i have underlined the blanks and filled it you can complete your exercise next is grammar exercise given on page number 63 read these dialogues tick the correct models here models are there you have to tick on the correct model let's do it rachit i am going to ahmedabad next month now next dialogue sonia oh you should oblique will visit the isro museum there so what is correct oh you should visit the next one rachit great idea i then will oblique must learn a lot about space and astronauts that way so correct is will i will learn the next sonia yes and one day i shall or could go to the kennedy space center in florida so correct is i shall go the next is rachit oh i would oblique shall go to the florida too now here what is correct i would go to florida too next sonia ah i don't see many stars tonight rachit it must oblique could be because of the air pollution look there's one that one up there looks like a big spoon so what is correct must or could correct is could the next sonia i think that could oblique shall be the big dipper so what will come could next is rachit do you think you and i could oblique would go to the moon one day so this is correct one is would then next one sonia i think it may oblique must be possible soon so it may be possible soon the next one do you think we could go to the sun one day rachit hmm i think that might oblique should take a long time so that might take a long time sonia maybe when they invent an ice suit that won't melt ha 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 so in this way you will tick on the correct models next we are going to do exercise b given on page number 64 under section grammar only now here fill in the blanks with the present perfect or past perfect forms of the verbs in brackets now what is the formation of present perfect tense has or have plus third form of verb is used in present perfect tense and had plus third form of verb is used in past perfect tense so you have to fill according to this now first one rajiv dash as an engineer before he took up farming rajiv had worked as an engineer i dash to school many times i have walked to school many times the boys dash cleaning their room the boys have finished cleaning their room my pet lilo dash my father's shoes has chewed my father's shoes we dash to win the match but we lost we had expected to win the match the thieves dash before the police reached the bank the thieves had escaped the medicine dash my stomach ache the medicine has cured my stomach ache lakshit dash well at the fair so his mother gave him a treat had behaved so in this way you will complete these philips now last exercise is my word bank an acronym is an abbreviation consisting of letters that form a 
word expand these acronyms one has been done for you now what are acronyms acronyms are short form of words and that short form is also a word so short form of big word if it is also a word it is called acronym now let's do it first one is already done for you that is nasa national aeronautics and space administration now second one isro isro is indian space research organization unicef united nations children's fund then unesco united nations educational scientific and cultural organization so students in this way you will complete this now that's all for today we have completed all the exercises of the chapter mangalyaan india's pride and joy i hope you like my way of teaching if you like it then press on like button share this video with your friends and your classmates and don't forget to subscribe my channel so that's all for today we'll meet again with another video till then bye bye have a good day